Welcome to this episode 3 of my Star Citizen Beginner's Guide. Today's episode will show you how to set your spawn location at a space station and how to use medical facilities. Also, I will show you how to buy stuff, how to manage your inventory, and I will show you an example of a perfect gear set to be able to face any situation. In every space station, there is a medical clinic where you can set your spawn. This means that if you die, you will respawn at this exact clinic. The reasoning behind this is that Star Citizen Universe is quite big, so if you want to operate in a certain area, it can be a good move to set your spawn at a space station at proximity, so in case you die, you can go back to your body quicker. Any medical clinic provides three services. Insurance service, which is where you change your spawn. Healing service, where you can treat your injuries. And a pharmacy, where you can buy healing consumables. To set your spawn to the space station, simply use the insurance terminal and click on transfer imprint. In case you change your mind, you can set your spawn location back to your main city, which in our case is New Babbage. From now on, anytime you die, you will respawn to this exact clinic of Port Tressler. At the entry of the clinic, you will find other terminals dedicated to patient check-in. This will assign you a room where you will be able to heal and treat your injuries. As usual, to find the room, simply enter the clinic and follow the signs. Note that you will not be able to enter this room if you are not checked in. Then, simply lie on the medical bed to get your treatment. The medical bed will automatically rehydrate yourself and set your food and health at maximum points. In case of a more serious injury, you can tap on the medical care and then choose your treatment tab and you will see your injuries and we will be able to treat them. We will ignore the pharmacy right now and get back to it later. Now that you know how to set your spawn and how to heal yourself, it's time to go buy some gears. To do so, find the elevators for inner station transit and go to Galeria. Galeria is the place of the space station where most of the shops are. You can find gears, weapons, also buy food and sometimes some components for your ships and guns. In this shop, we can find weapons and armors. Sometimes it's divided in two different shops. First, you should check the destination of the loot you are going to buy. By default, it's the local inventory of your location, which right now is Port Tressler. But as you can see, you could choose a ship, for example, and anything you would buy in the store will automatically be transferred in the local storage of your ship. The safest destination is the local storage of the space station, so Port Wrestler. So it means everything we buy will be stored in this local inventory. If we store in our ship and our ship is getting destroyed somehow, we will lose all the items stored inside, so it's not safe. In this example, I chose my drag cutter and I will buy these arms and they will be transferred automatically to the ship. So if I go to this ship and open its local inventory, I will see this item there. Pressing I, I open my inventory and as you can see, I can see the Port Wrestler inventory. So all the stuff you see here are stored at Port Wrestler. Now that you understand the local inventories, let's gear up. The first item you need to buy is the undersuit. Once you wear the undersuit, you will be able to hook the core. And once you wear a core, you will be able to hook a backpack. Depending on armor type, you may have different damage reduction percentage, also different carrying capacity, different temp ratings, so if you go on a cold or hot moon, you may want to adapt your gear. Lastly, backpack compatibility depends on the type of core you are wearing, so if you have a heavy core, you may be able to use any type of backpack, but if you have a light core, only a light backpack will fit. For the purpose of this guide, I will buy a complete set, but beware because when you start the game, you will not have enough credits to buy all of this, and I will show you in the next episode, during our first mission, how to gear up for free. So keep this video as a way to learn inventory management and how to gear up. 
Now I buy a complete Morozov set, which is composed of a heavy core, legs, arms, helmet, and backpack. As explained earlier, the undersuit acts as an anchor for the core, so if you don't wear one, you will not be able to snap a core on your body. If you don't have one already, just put your undersuit. Now you can snap the core. Now that we have a heavy core, we can snap on this core a heavy backpack. As you can see, some of your gear has their own storage capacity. So now we have the backpack storage and core storage. The capacity between these two are a bit different. The backpack has more capacity. You may have to play a bit with different items to understand what fits or what doesn't. To gear up more quickly, you can also double tap on each item and it will snap directly on your body. Armor is fine now, so we can also bring some med pens so we can heal in case of problem. On the top right of your screen, you can click on item ports helpers so you can see what are the ports available for this kind of accessories. If you change your mind, simply drag and drop back to your inventory. If you put an item in one of your compartments, it is tied to this compartment. It means that if you wear off these armor parts, the item inside will remain. You can browse more easily through filters or you can simply type the name of the item you are looking for in the search bar. Now let's buy a P8, which will be our first weapon. Click on the item, select the quantity and buy. and buy ammo for your P8 as well. You can also buy accessories like a holo, but keep in mind the size of the accessory must match the size available for the weapons. So first check the weapons details to understand what are the size available. You can wear a pistol on your hip and two main guns on your back, being your core back or your backpack. Take some ammo. Equip your med gun to be able to heal yourself and also treat others injuries and a refill. You can buy med pens, med guns, refills at the clinic. At that point, you are almost done. The only thing you need is to buy some food and also a pyro multi-tool that we will discuss now. To do so, simply go back to the inner station transit elevators and go to the cargo area. Look for cargo services and you will find some terminals dedicated to industrial stuff. What I like to do is buy some crews which has the double advantage of increasing your hydration as well as food level. Now buy a pyro multi-tool and a tractor beam attachment. These two items combined will create a tractor beam that will allow you to drag things from afar. This item is really a must-have. Equip the multi-tool and then drag and drop the tractor beam. After all of that, you may feel a bit thirsty, so it's time to have a drink. Take off your helmet, then drag a cruise into your hand, hold left click and you will drink. And now you should follow the golden rule, anytime you finish drinking, put back your helmet. Don't die stupidly in the verse because you forgot to put back your helmet while you are in space. And one last very important trick, anytime you wear something, as long as it doesn't appear as blue, it means it was not registered by the database. You may believe you wear your helmet, but the game doesn't think so, and you will die. To drop things, you can drag and drop to the bottom of the screen. You can also drag and drop from the ground to your inventory or into your hand. And using F key, you can interact with things. You can carry, store, place, Lastly, you can drag and drop things into your hands and leaving the inventory system, you will be able to interact with this item in your hands. Pressing 4, you will be able to switch between tools. Once you are done, hold R key to put it away. And this concludes this episode 3. What you learned today is how to buy things from space station, gear up and buy the essentials like weapons and ammo, armors, food, pyro multi-tool and tractor beam, med pen, med gun, and refills. You also learned how to manage your inventory and how to interact with objects. Remember that when you will start the game, you will not be able to buy all of this because you will not have enough credits at first. Remember that if you are an East to Star Citizen and you use my referral code in the description, 
you will get an extra 5k credits to help you start in the verse so in case you need that extra bit you know where to go in the next video i will show you how to find gears for free during your first missions so don't forget to subscribe to follow the next episode of my beginner's guide i'm Serblanc, and see you in the verse